Hey guys, Alfred here with another video review. Today is a very exciting day as I have a very special product in. It is the top range ASUS HD7970 DirectCU2. As you can see it comes in a massive box which also has a fair bit of weight to it to accommodate for the sheer size of this card featuring the gigantic DirectCU2 cooler. On the front of the box we get a blurb about this cooler which ASUS says that will make the card run 20% cooler as well as being 14 decibels quieter compared to the reference card. Also it supports up to a whopping 6 display iFinity and comes with 3GB of onboard GDDR5 RAM as standard. ASUS has used top quality components for manufacturing this graphics card using 12 phase DigiPlus VRM which allows for more stable voltages and better overclocking as well. Finally ASUS has included their own overclocking and monitoring software called GPU Tweak which we'll take a closer look at later. Moving around the back we get more information on the card's features. The DirectCU2 cooler has two fans and six copper heat pipes which come in direct contact with the GPU providing better temperatures while being quiet at the same time. A unique feature for the extreme users out there, this card has VGA hot wire meaning you can solder wires directly onto the back of the card here and plug them into compatible ASUS Republic of Gamers motherboards allowing you to accurately read and control the voltages for the core and memory on the graphics card. This is a fantastic feature for overclocking and will ensure that you get the most out of this card. As mentioned before, ASUS has only used the best components for this graphics card with 12 phase digital VRM providing a stable voltage supply for the card, meaning better overclocking and durability. ASUS's exclusive GPU tweak software allows you to monitor and overclock the card as well. Finally, one important thing to note is that this card will take up three PCIe slots as shown in the picture here. This is because the cooler itself is two slots wide. ASUS has made no compromises with this card and I expect this one to perform much better than other 7970s out there. And yes, amazingly this card supports six monitors in iFinity directly out of the box. We get two DVI connectors and four, yes four more display port connectors. Also here it looks like there is a little switch allowing you to select between having dual link DVI but no display port or single link DVI and display port. This is in reference to these two ports only, circled in red. Okay, so let's take a look inside. Like most ASUS products, it comes in another very nice black box. On top we get a little booklet with the GPU tweak software and the drivers as well as the installation guide. It's nice to see ASUS has used very thick foam here for the packaging as the card is quite a hefty item in itself. Before we take it out, let's quickly look at the accessories that ASUS has provided us. We get one HDMI to DVI connector, a dual 6 pin to 8 pin PCIe power cable, a longer style crossfire bridge because of the increased width of the card, and finally one for the extreme users, a MOSFET heatsink if you ever want to overclock this card on liquid nitrogen and break some world records. Taking this out we get a sense of the immense size of this card as you can see here. It is a very very big 3 slot card as I mentioned before. If you have a look inside here you get a glimpse of the heat pipes that are used and those will help dissipate the heat much more efficiently. Flipping around the back ASUS has put a very nice metal back plate on the entire surface here with some nice laser engraved logos as well. This is to prevent any flexing of the card and stress on the PCI Express slot as the heat sink on this is pretty heavy. Moving along the top we can see ASUS has also installed this metal strip all along the card to make it just that little bit more rigid and sturdy. The 7970 requires two 8 pin PCIe power connections here. ASUS recommends that you have at least a 600 watt power supply with 42 amps on the 12 volt rail to run this power hungry beast of a card. Here and here we have openings for the points which you can solder wires for the VGA hot wire featured on this card. We have two crossfire connectors for connecting up to four of these bad boys in crossfire. Of course bear in mind the insane amount of slots and room you need to do this. And a little switch here that I talked about before for selecting your display outputs. Finally on the back again we see the th three slot width of this card. Some ventilation at the top here 
two DVI ports and the four display port connectors on the bottom. Now let's take a look at the ASUS GPU tweak software that is included with this card. Here you can see that there are sliders that allow you to quickly and easily adjust your core and memory speeds. There are also sliders to change your fan speeds and GPU voltage. GPU tweak allows you to save up to four profiles as you can see along the bottom. Here I have overclocked this card to 1050 MHz on the core and 6 GHz effective on the memory. This is a massive boost from the stock 925-5500 MHz clock speeds. On the left we get a monitoring panel and on the right I am running MSI Combustor. At full load the card is reaching just 63 degrees. There are some more settings for the monitoring panel that allow you to choose what graphs show up in the window. Moving on to the benchmarks, at these clock speeds I was able to almost reach 9000 points on the performance setting in 3 d Mark 11 and on the extreme setting a result of 3096 points. Again the card remained very quiet and cool during these tests so the direct CU2 cooler is definitely doing a good job. So I hope you liked my overview on the ASUS HD7970 Direct CU2 graphics card. For more information on our custom builds, visit www.maximumpcs.com.au. Again, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and check back for more reviews and build logs coming soon.